I don't want to agree with that. I was sponsored by anybody. I mean, is it sponsored by PDP, sponsored by APC? These two people are same father, same mother from a broken home. <laughs> They're the same people. So none of them will sponsor me. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it with my, with my conscience, you know. And if I stay to look at these people without doing anything, as I am as greedy as them. I think if Obaseki has uh, borrowed the money to develop the uh, country or to improve on infrastructure or to build roads, it's commendable. I I'm not accusing of anything. All I'm asking is that I'm using the power of uh, FOI, Freedom of Information Act, to ask him to tell us what he has done with the money that he borrowed and what is the interest and when would the job be completed. Uh, that's uh, what I'm asking. Nobody sponsored me. I deny that categorically. Father, he's uh, a transparent governor, he's a better governor, and that's why the NDC is working. That's why you know some of the World Bank project is going on very small in our, in our place. We appreciate that. But what we are saying is that we have a right as uh, uh, citizens of the state to ask questions, how is our money being spent? If we borrowed money, what are the interest rates? Don't forget that this borrow is being borrowed on the detriment of our children, if not judicially spent where. So uh, my profit here, or my gain here is that he will come out to explain to us because don't forget that next election is coming. They already a power tussle. Some are drunk in Abuja. Who wants to forcefully take him out if he's not behaving properly? Uh, whatever happened to uh, uh, Ambode and Sowolo and Tunubu might replicate himself here. So we want to have the understanding. We want the electorate to understand what is going on so they can know who will be their better candidate in future. This is not about PDP or about APC. This is about us, but it's a common patrimony. So therefore, if he had agreed to this, which of course I appreciate, he will also have to immediately uh, respond to my lawyer by explaining how the money was spent, who approved the money, how much interest are we paying, when is the contract is going to be duly executed. And not only that too, I also question him about his predecessor, which is Adam Oshomole. Don't forget that Adam Oshomole left a whopping sum of 45 billion in debt to the states. Because he inherited that state, I also question him if he was satisfied how that money was used during the time of uh, Adam Oshomole. However, he has borrowed something exceeding that, far exceeding that in three years. Adams spent 45 billion, or inherit, or, or uh, uh, it was in, it was indebted to the state for 45 billion. But in less than three years, he has already borrowed 100 billion. So what I'm saying here is that let me explain to Ross how this money was spent. Let me also explain to Ross the 45 billion he inherited from Adam Oshomole, how that money was also spent. We have the right to know. And don't forget that I am still in court with the previous uh, administration over the Waterstone project when 30 billion were borrowed and he was he was the economy team management then he also had to explain to us how that 30 million was borrowed if by today the Waterstone project had been completed and if they had borrowed more money to try to actualize that dream or if that dream has been abandoned we as we as a people has to know this because it's a common patrimony. The act of borrowing by individual government is very healthy if the money is going to be duly spent, it's going to be wisely invested. For example, you know, we have uh, a catalog that is closed now, we have other school that is closed now. I mean, government reopen school, government build more school. Since the session of Obasekina, four schools have been permanently shut down. And these schools were built by Samuel Ubemo, Ubemo they are then, and these are very important institutions to us. So I don't really know the area that he's performing because I was deceived uh, about a few weeks ago by my eyes because I was seeing road left and right and I was very happy. I was carried away. I said, oh, what a wonderful governor. He's working very well. And then people now say, well, what are you talking about? He's not working. In, go and get your file. And I really go and get my file. And I saw that in the road construction, Obaseki has not done up to 12%. I appreciate that there are other agencies that is helping the state. So if he has borrowed 100 million, that is show us where he has borrowed the money. It is okay for government to borrow money for infrastructure, to build school, to help the teachers, to spend money in the health section. But we have nothing of these things. And don't also forget that his predecessor, Adams Oshomole, staged and, stage and, and deceived us with Central Hospital. Today, do you know how many lives have been lost? Do you know how many doctors we have lost that is going to abroad because there's no place to work? So if this is really government that because then we, we, we wake up and see go, governor, 
why is he not funding that hospital? Is it not for his benefit of the citizen? What is more paramount than heads? What is he spending the money for? Did some, somebody who is not healthy, who is not healthy, would he drive a car? So I, I really don't know what is going on in this country. So that is why I want to explain to you. Not in person, I love Obasaki, he's a great guy. Very well smart, very well educated. Not in person, I mean, I'm just, uh, you know, a village man. What do I know? I don't know if 500 million. The information I have before me is that he's training one teacher for 1.5 million. The recent teacher he trained now, he spent about 200 and something million in training them. I'm not sure it's up to 500 million. We have got a fat clear. But however, teacher deserve to be trained, to be retrained at all times. It depends on the benefit we are getting. But when you are training teachers, we have no roof in our schools. We have no school for the teachers. So what is the essence of training the teacher? I'm not saying it's not right to train teachers, but there have, there have to be other provisions. So whatever he's doing can equate to the amount he's spending. This is uh, really very sad, you know, because I think, I think uh, big men have no conscience. This government of Israel, they're big men without conscience. I mean, did you see Caterpillar working on any farm? How many people, I'm, I'm sure that maybe uh, Rosalie, you know, my family were giving money, maybe they benefited from it, because she's a journalist. But my family didn't benefit from it. I'm sure that uh, you, uh, uh, wonderful Dave, you didn't benefit from it. So these are all scams. They were nothing like that, but the money, we are still investigating it. Some are saying it's 3 billion, some are saying it's 3.2, some are saying it's 3.5, but I have written a letter. I'm expecting information, and when the information comes to reach me, I will let the press know. So it can explain to us how that money borrowed again for the sake of farming, how it was spent. We are going to continuously monitor and police the government because we have the right to police them. Same way we have the right to police the police.